So I've got an interesting story here. The group that helped to sink Madison Cawthorn's career, well, now they're saying we're not done. In fact, we have a new target. And that individual is Lauren Boebert. So as Nicole Gadiano of Insider explains, the group that posted a viral sexually explicit video of a nude representative Madison Cawthorn in bed with another man is now focusing on representative Lauren Boebert of Colorado for its next takedown, Insider has learned. I think we're going to go after Lauren Boebert in Colorado in a similar way, David B. Wheeler, a co-founder of the American Muckrackers Pack, told Insider Wednesday. I think we're going to engage in that race pretty quickly. The group on Thursday launched FireBoebert.com, seeking tips on information, pictures, videos or documents on Bobert or her associates. The first tweet by Fire Bobert read, Hi, Representative Bobert. Ask Representative Cawthorn about us. We look forward to getting to know you. Their logo, a dumpster fire emblazoned with Fire Bobert. While Wheeler is a Democrat, his co-founder is unaffiliated and the group counts some Republicans among its advisors. Wheeler told Insider on Wednesday he'd already received interesting information about the Republican firebrand, whose primary against GOP state Senator Don Corum is on June 28th. The information is certainly not as salacious as some of the Cawthorn stuff, he said. It deals instead with financial matters, he added, declining to disclose more details. Now, it seems like they already have quite a bit to work with. I mean, I'm sure that they will, you know, accumulate more details about Lauren Boebert, but they already have quite a bit to work with. This is an individual who failed to disclose that her husband raked in almost $1 million working as a consultant for energy companies. And obviously this is bad because it's a conflict of interest, but she also introduced legislation to reverse Joe Biden's bans on fossil fuel extractions on federal land. So yeah, I wonder if her husband's career had anything to do with that. Now, additionally, when she was dating her husband when he was 24 and she was only 17, that's a minor by the way, he was arrested for exposing himself to two young women at a bowling alley and then was subsequently banned from said bowling alley for good reason. So, I mean, they've got a lot to work with. Now, I've got to say, there's something about this that does feel inherently gross. And I think that the reason why I have a bad taste in my mouth about these types of efforts, even if someone like Lauren Boebert deserves it, is because... I've seen these types of packs and organizations go after leftists so many times. For example, you know, how many organizations have went after members of the squad or Nina Turner when she was running for Congress, DMFI, Democratic Majority for Israel. They did this to, you know, um, Keith Ellison when he was running to be the DNC chair back in uh, 2017. And they always smear them as, you know, anti-Semitic because they dare to support Palestinian rights and condemn the actions of the Israeli government. Like they go out of their way to try to frame them in a poor light and it's it's immoral it's unethical because it's not deserved but in this instance you know i have no problem turning a blind eye to this because this is the one instance where it's actually deserved where lauren Boebert, there's evidence that she, she's actually corrupt and she's doing the bidding of her donors and the industry that benefits her personally monetarily so you know when it is targeted against someone who actually deserves it it's fine but um you know when it comes to the left they're usually the victims of these types of smear campaigns and they're usually wrong but the way that this group went about this is actually interesting because rather than trying to create a narrative what they did is they just found incriminating videos and they they shared them so i mean if you're doing that then i really have no issue with it and because Lauren Boebert herself is a smear merchant. She's referred to members of the squad as the Jihad Squad, who are Muslim. I mean, this is somebody who has no principles, no integrity. She's actually corrupt. So, you know, I'm not going to shed any tears for her, even if I've got to admit that these types of efforts do feel really gross. The website itself is firebobert.com, as the article pointed out. But I just want to encourage my viewers to not donate to this organization. I mean, we don't necessarily know the leadership here. We don't know who's funding them. So don't waste your hard-earned cash on you know these types of efforts that money is better spent supporting local races supporting candidates uh people running for congress who are not taking corporate PAC money uh so you know overall i've got to say lauren bobert deserves this and i hope that this effort pays off if they're going to target these insurrectionists the most extreme members of congress then yeah i mean i mean people like madison cawthorn and lauren bobert they shouldn't be allowed to run for congress like they should literally be barred from running because they pose a threat to democracy quite literally because of their participation with the insurre insurrection on january 6th but i mean you know if they're going to target these types of people who actually deserve it 
then yeah, I, I think that that's justified. It's warranted. But usually these types of shadowy groups who you don't know who's behind them target good people in Congress. They target progressive candidates who are who are running for office and trying to make a difference. So, you know, it feels gross, but at the same time, as I said, not going to shed a tear for Lauren Boebert. And I hope that this effort pays off because she is an objectively terrible human being and a bad lawmaker who's corrupt. And I think that there's somebody better who can represent that district. It's not her Republican opponent, but I mean, it's definitely not her. So, you know, we'll leave that there. Do you enjoy watching independent news shows like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, and The Majority Report, but oftentimes YouTube doesn't deliver our videos to your subscription box? Well, I've got a solution for you. It's called the Opt Out app, available right now in the iOS App Store, coming soon to Android. Opt Out is an app made by and for progressives where they take all of the most popular independent news shows and they put them in one convenient location. You'll find all your favorites on there like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, The Majority Report, and the app is updated multiple times per day, so your news feed is constantly up to date. If you enjoy watching independent media, this is the app to get. Download it today.